Well, hello, my darling YouTube fam. I hope you're well. And of course, damn day, it is I, Rebecca, and I welcome you to my Chanel, Chanel of Dream. Okay, I'll get straight to it. So it all began when Linny Briscoe, good lady of Twitter, tweeted, you have to admire Hilary Baldwin's decade long gift where she impersonates a Spanish person. I don't know if you remember just very quickly that I did it again. I did a video about my fake accent and that, that um, people were sort of saying to me like, oh, she's got a fake accent. And I'm like, oh, no, no, I don't. You know, and that was the end of that, basically. I think I was gonna write a song about it. Anyway, forget that. So what I find really, really interesting is that there's been sort of like, oh, basically Hillary Hilaria Baldwin from Boston is married to Alec Baldwin and they have had five children together that's a whopping good number boring details like they met in a restaurant and she didn't know who he was and i'm like okay maybe but she was actually in fact born in boston and she's the holiday in spain and her parents are in fact from america and now they reside in spain so there is this clip that kind of grabbed my attention and i as you guys know you follow me. I am obsessed with accents and I am obsessed with where everyone is from around the world and in the comments when I see, you know, little flags and, you know, also very proud of where we're from. And I guess it would would appear, it would seem that uh, every time I want to, I just want to say Hillary because I think you don't pronounce the H. Uh, <laughs> Hillary, very proud of where she's from. It's been a bit of confusion, but all I can say about the matter is that apart from her digging a rather large hole. <laughs> when I have visited different cultures and different countries, I, I think that's just the way I am, but I generally do adopt that accent um, for a very, very long time. I guess it can be quite annoying to those around me. <laughs> and actually, I don't even have to be in the country to do it as you, may know from the videos um it's kind of something that as someone who impersonates who is obsessed with accents and um singers and the way with what how you can manipulate and change your voice it to me it's like it's fascinating and i guess from hilary's perspective uh no that was more french that i guess it's 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 more exotic when you take on this kind of like different identity. And I know she says that she, she gets confused with where she's from, be it America or Spain. And she says that she gets nervous. When I do things like that, it's just because I find it really fun and maybe it is a nerves thing, but I, I find it really silly, but I, she's getting a lot of hate about it and i just wanted to put my thoughts on it i mean she could be a really good actress now i don't know i got that thing where you know i'm just like so obsessed with accents and whatever this is right now you can tell me whereabouts exactly it's from but i i just go into accents all the time and i don't know why you could change me be you know uh and yesterday i shouted quite loudly and it turned out to be australian like that what do you want in the pen? I think maybe though, she's kind of, since she's taken on this identity, I don't think she thought it would ever blow up like this. And you know, there is a side of me who feels, I do feel bad for her, but then I know there's people gonna be like, don't feel bad for her, she's, she's a lie to everyone. And there is that, there is that lying thing. Actually, it's, it's crazy to think for yes, 10 years, no one's really picked up on this because I guess people like to think there's truth when people talk or that when people are talking and saying things, there's authenticity in that. But I suppose now that's happened, who knows? <laughs> I, don't, I see a comedy side. There's, there's a comedic side to this, you know, that I, I guess intentionally when I obviously do it, you know, like that. Um, I can't believe you just said that because that's just more fun and sort of expression, that kind of thing. Um, and again, if I wanna go like that, I don't know. Or if someone absolutely asked me to do an accent or impression, for, for example, then I'm more happy to do it. But 
she wasn't asked. But I think once that ball was rolling with her being asked like, oh, hey, uh, something in Spanish or this, that and the other, she would probably just go with it. And that clip with the whole sort of cucumber fiasco, <laughs> when she was like, uh, yeah, it's uh, blah, 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 tomatoes. And uh, what do you call this again? Hmm? Oh yeah, cucumber, okay. You know, maybe. <laughs> Ingredients. We have tomatoes, we have, um, a, how do you say it? Cucumber. Cucumbers. We have um, red pepper. We have, of course, the. I find it like there is, there is a side where I find it kind of funny, but I, I think her followers and her fans are kind of like with her, but at the same time, they're questioning now her authenticity and kind of like, who is she? You know, if, if, if she felt the need to sort of exasperate to kind of like go a little bit far and beyond the storytelling of where she is, where she's from, you know, um, I think at the end of the day, it's kind of best just to say who you are um, and not to, you know, I, I get it if you wanna come across like you're not bigger or better. I guess she might have seen that Alec was like, hmm, Espanol, I like that, you know, and he might have just gone with the wind. With that one. But I guess it goes back to be, uh, my, my hashtags, be yourself, darlings. And I guess it is a little bit embarrassing as well now, isn't it? And I, I've, I've, like I said, I did a whole video of my fake accent, <laughs> which was delightfully fun to me. You know, as soon as I saw this story unfold, I have been sort of following it. I know, lockdown, it does things to you. It really does. She, I guess she could have said nothing. Well, she could have said sorry, which I don't think she's done either. She's kind of, she kind of likes to dig a little bit. But I do wish them all the best. A little family, lots of love. And Alec is hilarious with some things he does. And she's very pretty. <laughs> I guess it's a lesson to be learned somewhat to those around. And there's, for me, there's no harm in like, or, or creating characters, like part of a skit. Mm -hmm. But if you're, you know, taking on uh, a different persona, you, especially if you're in the limelight, then you have to be careful, you know. And I guess you could say it's the same with singing, although it's it's more difficult because when you sing, there are so many things that you can do with your voice to change it. If you wanna go husky, if you wanna go louder, or if you wanna go more nasally, a little bit twangy, you know. All oh, these very wonderful things you can do. It's not about where we're from and where we're not lying, you know, um, about that. It's just something we, we can change and manipulate with our voice, which is so very fascinating. And I've said on many videos, like how you can do that, lowering the larynx, creating more space, a higher frequency, a higher pitch. You know what I mean? And actually I do find her voice, there are some videos, you have to look, if you just Google it or something, or YouTube of course, where she's completely uh, Spanish mode and then there are some videos where she's completely herself, so to speak, and very much her, her voice, because I guess it is tiring. Oh, my love has dampened. I guess it's tiring to keep up being someone you're not. But you know, I, I, I understand that she's identified with a culture. She's identified um, with Spain. You know, she did hol holiday there. And I get that because when you find some a, a place where you feel like it's home and you love it so much, you're like, oh yeah, this is like home. So I don't know, it's still kind of unraveling somewhat. And I wish her the best and I wish Alec the best and their little, humans faking no don't an accent don't do it <laughs> oh my gosh that's so funny happy new year and all <laughs> hashtag never stop singing hashtag you're never alone hashtag be yourself oh be yourself it's so much easier you know it's so much easier to be yourself whatever i want to do some accents now <laughs> What do you mean you do voices? I do voices. Anyway, quote that film at the end. If you do, you get like three points. Three very juicy big points. Okay, lots of love, darlings. Bye-bye.